Hello, I'm Chris Blaine, this is my brother Ben, um, and uh, obviously we've made our, our latest short film, Free Speech, in a bathroom, uh, except we didn't actually really make it in a bathroom. There's a reason for that. Bathrooms are quite small. Yeah, so we had to find a room that was bigger than a bathroom. I mean, t to begin with, we obviously tried to find a bathroom. Big bathroom. A big bathroom. But the problem is, my, most big bathrooms are quite big and tacky. Yeah. The Blaines are making more magical, mysterious movements on mediums beyond their understanding. <laughs> Again. The script is two people talking in a room, so it was very important to us from the outset to get two actors who could really carry something that's just like, you know, a scene between two people. Um, and to keep you know, an audience's attention for five minutes, which, to be honest, doesn't sound like much, but when you've just got two people naked in a bath, and you're trying to keep your attention on what they're doing and not on you know, looking at their nakedness, yeah. it actually takes amazing skill. You've got sweet talk. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You are gorgeous. <laughs> It was a suggestion from the boys that we, we approached Danny Dyer and, you know, I'm reading the script, he was the right man for the job. When Danny's in front of a camera, you watch him, he is amazing, he's one of those natural, natural people. Very true. And then Barrington came along with the right girl who blew us away yeah. and simple as that. She yeah. blew us and away, she blew us away at, on the audition, we yeah. went, yeah, she's the one. She blew us away on the day, we went, she's amazing. <laughs> To be honest, I personally think we're very lucky to work with Jackie at this point in her career yeah. because um, I think that she is someone who is really going to make it. The natural chemistry between her and Danny, as soon as they got together there was just something. It just worked and you can see that in the finished film. Yeah, to make this film work, it is not only upon the actors, it is entirely down to the yeah. film looking incredibly beautiful. Yeah. If the film does not look beautiful, then the film doesn't work. I always imagined it as a certain look. And we shot it on HD. I want to take the sharpness away from the video side of, of, of the film. I find that if you take detail out of the video, you end up with soft pictures, but unnaturally soft pictures. So I went round, um, round the route of kind of a more formatted method of, of backnetting the lens. That looks more filmic to me. Because it's got that slight softer edge on everything. With the light coming through it's quite nice. What what The guy has brought some special people. I've worked with crew before and, and not everybody's been as committed as they possibly should have done, but the crew on this they were just getting all the business. That is the dedication that every member of our crew had on this film and that is, is beautiful and that's what makes the film so good is because everybody all the time was thinking outside, frankly outside their job they're just constantly thinking what can I do that is going to make this film perfect and it, you know it's perfect The directors, everybody involved, just, just made this film what it is. I'm. <laughs> I can't just tell you how proud I am. I'm so happy. I have something that I can actually promote, push, talk about in public, but will probably not show my grandmother. <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks for coming.